Hi everyone, welcome back to Guitar in My YouTube channel. Alright, today we have with us the Duelist, the 2022 version, the newest, latest version by King Tone Guitar. And they included six dip switches at the side of the pedal. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to play through the whole pedal. Uh, this might be a two-part video, alright. So on the first part of the video, we will do the main sounds. On the second video, we will talk about the six dip switches. Alright, the guitar, James Tyler guitar is going into our latest pedal board as well. Alright, we have uh, uh, kind of have, generally we have the H Storm, which is the uh, matches M model and IR. It's going into the echo system for delay and into the Walrus R1 for reverb. Currently, our reverb is set into Hall reverb. Um, not a very large one, but just something to feel the back a little bit. Okay, so this is a clean tone. Not the king tone, but the clean tone, okay? So it's, here it goes. Alright, so that's the roughly clean tone. So let's start with the channel A side. If I set the volume and tone almost about 12 o'clock. Okay, I'm going to start with the stock sound, drive at 9 o'clock, and this is how it sounds like. Okay, this is the glass sound. We're probably going to add more high end, more top end. Okay, and this is the fat side, which probably add more bottom end, more body. Generally, these three knobs are just a little bit more uh, easy EQ. It does add certain frequencies which brings out the sound in a different way. So if you have a darker guitar, uh, the glass would work better for you. Okay, if you have a thing, things, uh, if you use a shred like, like, like what we have, a stock or fat would kind of thicken the, the single coils to make it, uh, to make it sound even better. All right, so I'm going to push up the drive right now to uh, 12 o'clock. Let's see how it goes. And the neck pick up right now. Three o'clock. So definitely a very usable sweep of drive sounds from 3 o'clock all the way to maximum. At maximum, you're not getting that super full-on distortion, but it's full enough to uh, really take your power chords pretty well. Okay, So I think personally, I might just set it to around the 12 o'clock position, which might allow me to clean up the guitar a little bit better. And yet at the same time, if I'm at volume full, I have more grit. So for example, this is a volume full. And if I roll my volume off, you get something cleaner. Pretty cool, all right. So that's the A side. Now let's go on to the B side. Similarly, we're going to do the same thing. So this is on stop at the nine o'clock position. 
So character wise you can hear that there's definitely more low end going on on this uh, heavy hand side So the EQ will work the same Okay, so uh, right now I'm going to keep it on the fat side again and let's bring up the drive. Definitely clipping much more than the A side already. So I'm just going to bring up some more, let's see how it sounds like. So the B side does give you more uh, clipping, more distortion. Okay, or rather they call it overdrive in this case. And uh, it definitely has more than the string singer, the string singer side. Okay, so right now we're going to kind of stack both sides together, uh, A and B, and let's hear how this sound. <laughs> So I was just tweaking on the fly as I, I was uh, playing my guitar. So what I was trying to do is I was trying to get a good balance of uh, frequencies. That's one. Uh, and two is to control the gain a little bit better. Okay. So of course, individual channel wise, if you want something nice, you might kick up the gain higher. Right. But if you're looking more to do stacking, uh, suggestion would be to lower your gain structures on drive a and drive b right now i might still set it relatively high you can actually still knock it down a little bit more all right and also another principle about stacking is also your eq so you don't want to put both on the fat side or both on the stock both on the glass it doesn't uh, stack very nicely okay so i will set one to fat and one to stock or vice versa okay so entirely up to your preference at the end of the day uh, but these are some tips that you can actually bring home to try on your pedals not necessarily have to be the dualist as long as you have two overdrive pedals the principle of stacking would still be the same okay so this is part one of the video where we run the uh main sounds of the dualist okay so do stay tuned for part two where i'm going to talk uh, talk a little bit more about the dip switches at the side okay so if you do like this kind of video do give us a good thumbs up subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the latest videos okay take care god bless i will see you real soon bye